I am your host, Nicole Will, and we're so happy you're here as we navigate the world with your aging loved one. We are here to come alongside older adults, family members, and the senior living community as we explore the world of aging and elder care with helpful resources, informative interviews, and approachable conversation. We get to do this together, so join us on our journey, and this is the Will Gather Podcast. As we age, we want to remain independent, keep our active lifestyle, look beautiful, and stay safe. My guest today is Mara Perlmutter. She is a senior fashion and jewelry executive and founder of TrelloWare. It is a passion project aimed at solving an issue that hit close to home from her when her mom refused to wear any of the unattractive, generic, personal emergency response system devices. Mara's mom said to her, Mara, you've been in the jewelry business over 25 years. Can't you make something beautiful to wear in case of emergency? In wanting to create a beautiful, dignified solution, TrelloWare was created. And through their partnerships with leading Bluetooth tech developers and fall call solutions, there is now a mobile personal emergency response system that caters to women of all ages that is not only easy to use, it is simple to set up. It brings that spark of joy in our day. As some of us are aging solo, it brings peace of mind. We can support this purpose-driven mission with women caring for women, and we can destigmatize wearing an emergency alert device. These pendants make women look and feel beautiful while keeping them safe. I enjoyed this interview. Mara shares her story. We talk about the personal emergency response industry, how easy it is to use and set up, how we have conversations with our loved ones about wearing devices, how reliable and accurate is the technology in detecting falls and how easy this product is to implement into our lives and honoring our family members with easy to use products. Mara's fulfilling her mom's request, disrupting this part of the industry and bringing to light fashionable, attractive, easy to use and meeting the needs of caregivers and older adults everywhere. Here is my interview with Mara Perlmutter. Hi, Mara. I've just been waiting for this interview, and I'm so excited with what you are doing, and I'm so happy for you to share with everyone else what you are up to. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's so my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime I get to share the Trelloware story with a community, it's it's really my honor to do so. So thank you again for having me. You are so very welcome. And with that, I cannot wait to hear about TrelloWare and you and your story. I know that it is so meaningful how you created this business. So I want to hear more about that. Sure. So, you know, I think my story, as I have shared it with others, resonates because I think so many people share a similar situation in that, you know, I never knew anything about emergency alert devices. And I was faced with a situation where my beautiful fashionista mom, Mm -hmm. unfortunately, became a little more housebound. My dad wanted her to wear like one of these emergency devices. He said to me, Mara, do you know anything about them? And I said, Dad, I know absolutely nothing. And he said, well, I'm going to order a few types and you're going to have to sell your mom on wearing one. And I was so naive. I said, sure, Dad, not a problem. So I went to their house, opened these five boxes. And as I'm opening up the boxes, there's one white plastic ugly device after another. I look at my beautiful mom and I said, mom, dad really wants you to wear one of these. And she's like, absolutely not, never. They're ugly, they're plastic. And she just instinctively said to me, Mara, you've been in the jewelry business over 25 years. Can't you make me something beautiful to wear in case of an emergency? And I said, sure, mom, having absolutely no (laughs) idea if I could or couldn't, but knew that I had to try. Mm So what happened was I grew up in corporate America. I grew up primarily as a retailer and wholesaler of large fashion brands, primarily in the jewelry watch accessory business. So I was really a corporate person, 
but I did call an old friend of mine who was a serial entrepreneur. He said to me, you know, the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show is coming up in Las Vegas. Why don't we walk around and see what's there? Mm. So him and I went and lo and behold, we, we walked the show and we see there's an over proliferation of product for men, mostly watches, mostly activity trackers, but there was actually nothing, nothing attractive for women. That is surprising and sad all at the same time. Exactly, wow. because as we both know, women, you know, mm -hmm. primarily live longer than men. Right. They are about 70% of the users of emergency alert devices, as I soon would learn. Mm. And, you know, most of these products were designed and manufactured and sold by men. There wasn't really a lot of women having input into the creation of emergency alert devices, mm. even though they were for women. Right. So at that fair, I happened to have met a company who was named Mobile Help, and they were in the emergency response business. So I walked over, I introduced myself, I shared what I was thinking of doing. They said to me, well, let me show you what we're doing. They showed me something that was a little bit better than mm -hmm. a white plastic device, but not really better. And I said not to be rude or disrespectful, but if this is the best you can do, I know I can do better. Mm -hmm. So so I did. And they said, prove it. And so I went to work and I hired one of my beautiful jewelry designers to create a collection and you know worked with some of my prime overseas manufacturers put together a collection of 18 SKUs, went back to the CEO and the C-level team at Mobile Help, made a presentation. They absolutely loved the product, but they didn't trust our tech. And I said, you know, that's fair. I don't really know that I would trust my tech. I'm not a tech girl. And first pivot of our business, they introduced ourselves to the largest tech provider in emergency response, the company that actually provides all those white, ugly plastic devices, who you know really loved what our mission was at Trelloware and has been our partner for over three years now. Incredible. And yeah. that is how it comes together, right? We see this big need. There's not the product yet, and you have the background and the vision to make it happen. <laughs> it's so I, awesome. I think, you know, it's it's one of those crazy stories, which I, I guess is not so unusual, that number one, you know, you never know about a category until you're kind of faced to to have to know about it. So it's not like it is, you know, a happy or a, a sexy conversation to talk about emergency response. You know, most people view it as, oh, I'm old. Oh, my kids think that I need this. Oh, I can't be independent anymore. You know, it's all associated with such negativity. Yes. So what we try to do at Trelloware is create something beautiful that's discreet, that people will want to wear, and that it's kind of like your own little secret. Right. You know, you don't have to tell anybody you're wearing an emergency response device. If you choose to share that, we're, we're happy that you do. But actually, any time that we, in our minds, are improving the compliance and the independence of women. Mm. You know, we're do, we're doing something that's that's a powerful thing. It really so is. So it's it's really for us. It's just a feel good story. Yes, and we can sense that. And in, in looking at, I'm going to call it jewelry. <laughs> looking at the jewelry and the pendants, they're beautiful and they look like something you would grab when you're going out and have your sharp outfit together and and are proud to wear that and that is what i think is so important is that we feel that pride and dignity in how we maintain our you know style and our fashion as we continue to age and feel good about it which is huge i think it is 
so important today that we recognize Mm -hmm. no matter what a person's age, there is a certain, to your point, dignity, and there is a certain well-being that you feel good when you get up in the morning, you put your makeup on. This is my mom. She put her makeup on. She dressed like she was, you know, going out to like someplace really wonderful, whether she was leaving the house or not. But it made her feel good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our pendants are designed to take a serious topic and, and which is emergency response, but make it fashionable and fun. Right. So what we've created here, and, and this comes from really all of our jewelry background, is, is something that, number one, you can have fun with. You can take the, the pendant off every single day, very easily off of the chain, and you can put it on your beads if you wear pearls, if you wear a different color, you know, necklace of some kind, you know, you can change it up. You can have a gold one, a silver one. You know, we have five different colored stones. We have black, we have white mother of pearl, we have turquoise blue, we have lapis blue, which is very denim friendly. You know, we, we and uh, of course we always have like one kind of like a seasonal color, which this year is our, our purple lavender color. Oh, fun. But sometimes we do pink for spring. And, you know, we try to, again, make things fashionable, feel good, and really let the user kind of create their own style with it. Yeah. So I, I think that is something that, you know, again, women like to have an individual point of view, how they get dressed in the morning. And sometimes you feel like a gold girl and sometimes you feel like a silver girl. And, so you know, true. Yeah. we give you all those options, mm-hmm. you know, so that again, the whole point is that you want to wear the pendant. You'll want to feel that peace of mind right. when you're not only in your home, but outside of your home, which is really what is so important. You know, there are many, many, many devices out there that can protect you and monitor you in the home. Mm-hmm. But what Trail Aware does is give you that incremental protection when you leave your home. Right. And that's the huge distinction, you know, having that. Yeah with you at all times. And I love the versatility of it. The fact that you can take that and put it on different things and choose your color and how you feel for the day. It's a whole thing of even when I'm getting ready, it's like, it's fun, right? You can put your outfits together and match that with your jewelry and having the options to do that. My grandma was the same way. She was decked out to the nines every day and took really great care in who she was and putting those outfits together. So when she had a pendant, when she um, was in a community, actually, she did not wear it. She refused. She thought it was so not attractive. (laughs) I probably get that a little bit from her. Um, And she just, it would sit on the the dresser. Well, there's no, there's no help in that. It's not going to protect her, keep her monitor what's happening or even alert us. And so I having something that you can love and use and actually have it be beneficial is what we need. I so agree. And I think that one of the things is that a couple of things, number one, that our pendant comes in a beautiful gift box. And we encourage, you know, our users to keep the gift box on their nightstand They can put the pendant actually in the gift box as as it is delivered to you. And you can actually activate it right from your nightstand if ever needed. Because as you'll see, when you receive your pendant, there's actually a hole in the back where the button is. So it makes it easily accessible to you. The other thing is, is that we understand that people have active lifestyles and really want to maintain their activity levels as much as possible. So we've created this pendant. So you again, you can easily take it off of the chain. You could put it on your handbag, your belt. You can put it on a golf bag, a pickleball bag, 
Whatever your activity level or choice is, it can come with you and be by you where you are. So again, sometimes, you know, people for whatever reason don't want to wear a necklace that day. Okay, so don't wear your necklace. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't take your pendant with you. So, you know, we've tried to design it so that we have really the lifestyle of the woman in, in mind in everything that we are doing. So, you know, we, we probably miss some things and we're always looking to improve. But I think that for our first time out with, you know, launching a, our, our first metal-based Bluetooth product, I think we've done an, a really good job that we're proud of here. I think Thank so you. too. And you spent how many years developing the product and solution? Yeah, so that's, you know, I am a first time baby boomer entrepreneur. I love it. You know, as, yeah. as I shared before, you know, I grew up in corporate America at Saks Fifth Avenue at Hearst Magazines and some really large, fantastic companies and learned so much. Mm-hmm. But being a first time entrepreneur, wow. Yeah. You know, you're so accustomed to having a tremendous amount of resources. And now, as I say, every decision that we've made along the way has been incredibly thoughtful Mm -hmm. because it's our own money. We're friends and family funded. I'm funded mostly by my husband, who I call my banker. I love it. And, um, you know, it is very humbling when you've built some really incredible brands that four plus years later, which is how long we've been in business, I feel like we're just starting to get some traction as a business. You know, it takes an incredibly long time, number one, to get the product right to where you're happy with it, where, you know, my mom was pleased to be able to wearing it. So it's the aesthetics and the tech and the app all come together and we make it a seamless experience. So that's taken a lot of stops and starts. And, you know, again, the most important thing, and I always, yes, put a lot of emphasis on the aesthetics of our our collection. But of course, the most important thing is that it works. So that we've spent a tremendous amount of time with our tech partner, with our app partner, making sure that the technology and the Bluetooth that we are using is best in class. And we are really happy about that. So to your point, over four and a half years, we launched Bluetooth a little over a year ago. But, you know, again, the challenge for us as a business, which I'm sure so many entrepreneurs can relate to, is building the brand awareness. You know, we all are bombarded by a prolif- over-proliferation of products, of brands, of info, of data. And, you know, I'm trying to get the word of Trelloware, mm-hmm. which, oh, by the way, Trella is alert spelled backwards. So clever. Um, yes. So out there and make people, number one, aware that we exist, that there is a viable option for their loved one, that it is an option they can count on, And that, yes, we are asking you to take a leap of faith by buying our product, potentially helping to save your loved one's life. But we are confident. We know that our technology works. And we know that people love to wear our product. So now I think we have the data and we have, you know, the testimonials to support our brand. Yeah. And that's what we're most proud of. As you should be having the real life stories and the user experience. Can you share a little bit more about who your partners are that support the product? Like how does that come together? So yeah, you know, a lot of coordination Mm -hmm. goes into building a, a product today, especially a tech product. So first of all, I want to share that our, which I did mention before, our tech manufacturer, who is our partner, you know, he's kind of a behind the scenes guy. Yeah. So he he does not like his name in lights, to no be honest. No problem. You know, he likes to be behind, <laughs> behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. But all I will share is that if most of you know these white, ugly plastic devices, he's the one who supplied them. <laughs> yeah. But more importantly, or equally as important, Mm -hmm. our app partner, who our app, we run on an app platform. 
and the app platform is may, is named Fall Call Solutions. And Fall Call Solutions was founded by a gentleman by the name, a wonderful, wonderful gentleman by the name of Shay Gregg. And Shay Gregg is up until very recently, he was the head of trauma at Yale New Haven Bridgeport Hospital. So he's a trauma surgeon by trade. He was seeing so many patients over 50 come into his ER after having fallen that he was like, there's got to be a solution out there. Right. So he has spent all his free time, which is not a lot, over the past six years developing an app that could monitor patients, which is what he does for us. And some of his platform does have fall detection. So I want to talk about fall detection because fall detection is a is a big factor for a lot of people. I would say one of the number one concerns when we yes. have our old yes. adults. Yeah. And so I, I, I'd like to clarify this because everybody asks us, does our pendant have fall detection? So I will share this. Our pendant, when you, if you have an Apple Watch and when you pair our pendant to your Apple Watch, Yes, mm. you will have fall detection. Otherwise, unfortunately, at this stage, in this iteration, we do not have fall detection. Our device has location services. It has many features and benefits, but it does not have fall detection. So it's, it's important to know at what stage you are with the one you're either yourself mm -hmm. or that you're caregiving for. So to know if this is the right product for you. We know it's not the right product for everybody. Again, it's a niche product, but it is a product that does fill a void for many people. Yeah. So Shay Greg loved what we were doing at Trelloware. He and I partnered. And so again, what happens is you buy our Trelloware pendant on say Trelloware.com. There are other places you can buy it, but let's for simplicity say, mm -hmm. say you buy it on Trelloware.com. When you receive the pendant on your, and this is also a very big announcement, up until recently, the user had to have an iPhone. But since the beginning of March, now, whether you have an Android or whether you have an iPhone, all you have to do is download the free app on your phone called Fall Call Detect. After you download that app, you then take your pendant and we have so much information and videos on how to easily do this. Mm -hmm. But then basically what you do is you push the button on back of the pendant and you pair your device to the app directly. And then what you do is you sign up for a monitoring service plan. And there are two plans that you choose from. It's either one plan that's only $9.99 a month, and that would be for a five-person care group. And that could be any person you have in your network. It, it could be a loved one. It could be 911. It could be anybody you want. But most people do choose the higher level of monitoring service, which is $19.99 a month, which means, God forbid, there is ever an emergency, the user would push the button. This call would immediately go to a trained representative in a U.S.-based monitoring service center, they would call you. If nobody answers the phone, they immediately know who you are, where you are. They also have all your emergency contacts. So they will handle your emergency directly by calling police, by calling the ambulance, by calling your care group, so that you have an extra layer of protection when you opt for the monitoring service plan, which we do encourage. What a great value for that peace of mind. Oh my oh gosh, my incredible. It's so much less expensive than yep. so many other companies out there. Yeah, And we'll say that, you know, luckily we have had tremendous reviews on the immediacy of, you know, our service and really how helpful the team is at our monitoring service station that they're knowledgeable, they're empathetic, and they just do their job well. Yeah. They're, they're utmost professionals. Yeah. Well, you answered my question. I was going to say, how does this all work? So that's I know. Perfect. You know, it's <laughs> so, so hard. I love it. When I first started, again, 
as I shared my story. I knew actually nothing uh, about any of this. And I feel like we've come such a long way yeah. in trying to take something that could, you know, feel mm -hmm. a little bit difficult mm -hmm. to use and maybe set up. And yes, a lot of times we have, you know, adult children setting this up for their loved ones, no question, but it really is simple. Yeah. And the, the beauty of it, couple of things. Number one, once it's set up, it's set up. You don't have to do anything else. Also, there's no contracts, no cancellation mm. fees. You know, it, we make this very simple so that we want you to feel good about using our service. If for some reason, and God forbid, you know, it's the reason that a loved one has passed or something, you no longer need it. You, you just email us, you can contact us, you can call us. We immediately, of course, you know, cancel the service. Right. But, you know, we make things, uh, try to make things as simple as possible for our users, for our caretakers, because you know what? Nobody needs any more stress in their life. Right. We're trying to minimize the stress in everybody's life. Mm -hmm. And you know, if we can help in any way to do that, I'm grateful to be able to do that. Yeah, you can just tell your heart is so in it. And I love how simple that it is as you were walking us through it. I was like, that is doable. We can, we can manage that. Yeah, We can you know, manage that. Yeah, you know, and I think the other thing that we are trying to do at Trelloware is kind of what we call disrupt the industry mm -hmm. because the industry is look there there's a value and a purpose with emergency response right. and and look there are plenty of people out there who are comfortable and okay wearing a white plastic device and i applaud them doing it but there should be options out there that the communities and users know about. And if we can help provide a viable option for as many or as few people out there, there is a purpose here and there's a higher calling here. Yep. We realize this is not for everybody, but I do know that there are plenty of women out there, just like my mom, mm -hmm. who deserve a viable stylist solution that doesn't make them feel old, Absolutely. but makes them feel good mm -hmm. about aging mm -hmm. and makes them feel fine about being able to go out and live their lives and know there's an extra layer of security if something, God forbid, happens. I think we're on to something. I, do. I hope we're on to something. And the other thing is, you know, there are so many women who are aging solo, as we say. Mm -hmm. Why can't they have a device in their 50s that maybe is for walking the dog late at night or if you're dating for the first time after 30 years, yeah. you know? It doesn't have to only be 24-7 use. It could be situational use that we provide a solution for. Mm -hmm. So we kind of want to create some points of difference that we provide, but also get people thinking kind of creatively yeah. on, on how this device could help them. Outside of the box a little bit. And little we're bit. we're in tune today because one of my questions is who's a good candidate for wearing wearing well, something like this? So elaborate on that. I know you mentioned some of those out of the box, but as we're walking through life with our loved one, when when do we implement something like this? Yeah, so a really good question. I think that number one, everybody's situation is individual. Mm -hmm. So I would share that as soon as you feel that there needs to be a little extra attention paid to your loved one, and it could start out very simple where, you know, she might have gone outside the house and, and she's forgotten some things, or she's outside of the house and she loses track of time, or she's outside of the house and God forbid something does happen. As early as possible, and again, it's all in how you approach this, mm -hmm. because we look at our device when you get it. It's in a beautiful gift box. There's a beautiful care card. We don't approach it as, oh my God, you know what? I need to be monitoring you all the time now. It's more, wouldn't it be something really special to receive a gift 
that actually just gives you more peace of mind to live your life. I think that it's not necessarily an age thing. We have sold our pendants to women 50 and over, 70 and over. You know, the current average age of using one of the white plastic devices is 79 because that's like their last resort. We feel that we want to bring people into our franchise, as we say. We want people to feel good about wearing it if they're aging solo and they're taking trips and, and you know, again, they're going exploring new places or if they're in potentially uncomfortable situations and just want to know there's an, a way out for them. So we don't put an age on it. We know that there are people 50s and, and over wearing our product. And each person does use it differently, though. You know, some people do wear it all throughout the day and keep it by their nightstands. Some people only wear it by the day and then put it away. Some people wear it only situationally when they're outside the home, when they're inside the home, they don't wear it. You know, there are so many different scenarios. Our perspective is if you're happy wearing it, wear it. You know, that's it. Do you find are some adult children, you write purchasing as a gift and encouraging their loved ones because they also want that peace of mind. How have they been successful in maybe starting some of those conversations if mom or dad is, you know, or mom specifically is not super interested in that? Yeah, you know, look, I'm not going to lie. We all know these are tough conversations. Mm -hmm. I would share that the first line of opening up the dialogue is showing them how beautiful it is because most people don't even know it's an emergency alert device at first. So if you present them with, look what we got you, don't you love it? And they hold it and it's substantial. And again, it comes in a beautiful gift box. And then, you know, you open up the dialogue and say, look, mom, or whoever the loved one is, we got you this because it is an extra added layer of protection and safety, not just for you, but for us. And very often, and I I will say this, over the course of time, we have run events where buy one for your loved one, buy one for yourself. Oh, yeah. So that the one that is for the younger person, the potential caregiver, et cetera, does not have an emergency alert functionality to it. It just is a beautiful piece of jewelry, Mm. but it looks exactly the same as the emergency alert device. Sometimes it helps where you'll see, say your daughter wearing the same device as you are, and you'll feel, oh my God, if she wears it, I could wear it. Like there's some type of connection that way Mm -hmm. that sometimes helps. It's a great idea. Um, But I think it's trying to approach it that we do not feel anything but gratitude that there is something out there that makes you feel and look good but also can keep you protected. Mm-hmm. It, it is a tough conversation though. And, and some women will be excited that they too have some additional peace of mind. And of course, some women, you know, will still be that refuse to lose, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, refuse to use, yeah. you know, yeah. like they, they will just be, we don't need it. Mm-hmm. You know, we hope that not, Again, you can wear it around your neck as as a pendant necklace, but again, you don't have to. You can wear it on your belt, on your handbag. It can be used however you choose to use it. Maybe that helps a little bit right. in the conversation as well, because yeah. it's not always yeah. you know, around their neck. I have to say, the only other thing is to read you know, some other people's stories on Mm. our our website of testimonials of you could be, if you choose to be kind of like the leader in your own community, the first one to have it on your block, and you can share how beautiful it is and, and maybe, you know, have your own circle of friends wear it as well. I love that idea. Yeah. You know, maybe that helps. I feel like it's just important that we make this a dignified solution that is accessible, that is easy to use, and that is really simple. 
you know, it is unlike so many other devices out there, which have a lot of whistles and bells. Mm -hmm. My mom was all about simplicity. I don't think she would have used anything incredibly complicated, nor, you know, it would have confused her. Absolutely. So I think we designed this to do very limited amount, but do it what we do well. Right. And again, everybody has to really look at every possible solution out there and determine what's best for them. Mm -hmm. We know we feel a fill a void in a marketplace for, for certain users, and we're happy to do so. But we also know that we're not the solution for all. Yeah, I love that you speak to that. And when you were talking about that peace of mind as well, how and some of the data that you guys have collected, how reliable and accurate is the technology in detecting yeah. those falls? And really everything. important question, mm -hmm. important question. So we are right now with 99% plus. Amazing. Like we, it's amazing. Like our call center reaction is less than five seconds. Amazing. So in, in within five seconds of you pushing the button, the um, call center is activated and will immediately get in touch with you. I will share, and this is the other reason why we do recommend um, the, the higher level, you know, monitoring service versus just your care group. So what happens with your care group is if God forbid you push the button, their phone will ring they'll get a text, they'll, the phone will actually make a noise to uh, make them as aware as quickly as possible mm -hmm. that their uh, the emergency alert device has been activated. However, it is incumbent upon them to then call you. They know where you are. They have the same you know information on their app, where you are, et cetera, but by the same token, they're gonna be panicked. Do you know that's right. just the way it is? Mm -hmm. Especially when they try to call and God forbid they, they can't reach you. You know, it's their role to call it a, an ambulance or call a police department and say, this is where my mom is. This is where my loved one is. She needs help. Of course, they'll be on the way going there, of mm -hmm. course, too. But I think it's a big responsibility mm -hmm. for your care group. Right. You'd always be wondering, As, is my phone near me? What's happening? Am I available? I'm, yeah. Am I in a meeting? Mm -hmm. Am I on a podcast? Yeah. You know, <laughs> all is, of it is. Know? Yeah. I mean, I, I just feel like we all live such busy lives today mm -hmm. that to put so much additional pressure on just the care group when you have a monitoring service where trained representatives are not only able to deal with the situation, but also do get in contact with all the emergency care group members. So I, I kind of just feel like it's worth that extra few dollars every yeah. month yeah. to ensure that you get that level of service and protection that really I feel like you deserve. Absolutely. So I'm I'm out of curiosity's sake. I have a couple of, you know, lighter questions. Is there a battery or how does it, does it have to be changed or how does it stay alive? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. So we do run on a Bluetooth battery. Mm -hmm. It is not replaceable. Amazing. What we instead mm -hmm. do is we replace the pendant for you at $99 mm -hmm. and you choose whatever pendant you want. And what happens is on your app, up 30 days before the battery is actually going to die. Amazing. And you start getting daily alerts that your battery is running low. You will then get an email that says your battery is running low. We'd like to invite you to purchase a new Trelloware pendant. We guarantee the battery for a year. Thus far, we have had no returns on the battery running low for almost a year and a half. Amazing. So you know, again, battery life is determined on usage. Mm -hmm. You know, we do encourage users as well as care members, et cetera, to test their app and to test their device once a month. And that's just good practice. Right. No matter what device you have, whether it be ours or another solution, it's really important to test the device once a month. So after that, again, after you, God forbid, you know, get that alert that your battery is running low, 
you purchase any new device and we ship it for free for $99. That is so thoughtful. And I love the alerts ahead of time because I'm trying to think of products and I don't know if I get an email about any of them (laughs) running low. So that's what a great service. Yeah. Yeah. And, And again, it's part of the ability to feel confident that your tech is reliable and properly working and that we can actually help in an emergency. This is not a joke. This is serious business, but it just has a fashionable style element to it. Right, right. Is it water resistant or in the shower? I know that bathrooms are a place where falls can happen. Yeah. Yes. So it is water resistant. It is not waterproof. Mm -hmm. And we know that that is something that we wish we could develop a waterproof device that we would feel comfortable you wearing in the shower. Because we, we of course, know that the shower is such a challenging space for so many. Right now, we have not come up with that solution. Our products are made of 100% brass. It is a very fine metal. And unfortunately, if there is too much water that gets into the product, it could compromise the technology. So again, if you are wearing it and you're washing dishes or something and some water gets on it, no big deal. But we don't recommend nor encourage you to wear it in the shower, in a pool, in any submersion at all. It would not do well. Yeah. And, you know, keeping it near the shower or in the bathroom is a wonderful option. Yep. 100%. You know, you could hang it right outside your shower. That's, you know, something that people have done, put little hooks, et cetera. But unfortunately, we do not recommend in you wearing it in your shower or bath. There's another really cool part that I had read about is that the jewelry is named after one is your mom, correct? Yeah. And yeah. one is your great aunt. Yes. And that personal touch is so cool. So thank you. You know, um, kind of emotional, you mm-hmm. know, even though it's been, you know, years since since we, you know, started the company. But I just felt like it was really my mom's idea. Yes, you know, I've been blessed to have a successful corporate career. But when my mom put me up to this challenge, I felt like anything we designed should have her represented. So we have two shapes. We have our cushion shape, which is more like our square shape. And that was the first shape that we developed. So I named it after my mom, Sally. And then round has always been a popular shape in jewelry. So we came up with a a round design that complements the cushion. And, you know, my favorite aunt in the world was named Bella. So we named it after her. And, you know, I feel like there's that personal touch And I also feel like when you're looking at purchasing our product, it's kind of like you all have a Sally or a Bella in mind. Isn't that the truth? Right? Mm -hmm. Like any help that we can, you know, give our loved ones, like we're going to do, you know, we're going to do whatever we need to do to keep their independence and to keep them, you know, feeling confident and good about themselves and feeling valued. I guess that's another important word. And cared for and thought of and that we want them to be well protected and yeah, all of that. I mean, again, as health deteriorates, of course, there's a higher level of monitoring and caretaking that needs to take place. Mm -hmm. But it's never too early to show your loved one that you care. And it's never too early to have that peace of mind for them and for yourself. So, and for your care group. Again, I think this is a staged approach to caregiving and to aging and to solo aging. And I think any time that, whether it's self-care or caring for loved ones, any time that you can show your appreciation of them, of the solutions that are out there, I think it makes a difference for everybody. It does. So I have thoughts as you were talking. I did a podcast yesterday with a wonderful woman all about solo aging. 
And when we look at the numbers and the longevity revolution that's happening, we are, most of us will be solo agers and really thinking about how we can set things in place so that we have options and security and we're thinking ahead, right? And it's all about planning ahead, not waiting until crisis. So this is such a perfect, you know, segue to that for sure. Totally agree. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think that not only do women outlive men, mm-hmm. but there are so many women in America today who have chosen their path right. and are very confident and concerned about their solo path. Mm-hmm. And so this, again, gives you an additional option that's beautiful, discreet, and you use the way you choose to use it. Right. And it is valuable outside your home, Mm -hmm. not just inside your home. So anything that you have set up, any, you know, solution that is inside your home, this is an additional incremental solution that works both in and outside your home. And that is something that we continue to harp on. Because so many people say, oh, you know, what about, you know, Google or Alexa or whatever? Okay, you know, there's AI technology that all of you may use today or in the future, but that doesn't replace what our pendants can do for you outside the home. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's this whole conversation, too, around purpose and what brings us joy. And I think as we continue to grow older, it's important that we add things in our lives that we can look at and that spark joy. And I'm I'm quoting Anna Hall, who is founder of The Purpose Equation, and she talks about that so much, how important it is that we can grab onto those, you know, seemingly small things that aren't, that spark joy in our day, that give us that security as we want to develop our purpose as we age, which is so important. First of all, I could never have said it better, but I think that the reason this company has become my passion project and not just because my mom had, you know, an idea that, and we identified a void in the market, but I think it's also because it has become a purpose driven mission that women, number one, should be caring for one another. Yes. You know, you're in this industry that is dominated by men. But again, as I shared at the beginning, 70% of the users are women. You know, how- And we're it, also the purchase power. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And the majority of caretaking decisions are made by adult female child. Yeah. We should be catering to this audience It brings joy and purpose to my life to know that we've created something that would actually put a smile on somebody's face, even though it's an emergency alert device. That would never, it's like an oxymoron in the old days. But I love that you connected the two. I mean, how cool is that? (laughs) It's so crazy when you look at the onset of this whole industry, it was built on fear. It was built on help I can't get up. Well, you know what? That's not today's women. Today's woman is full of life and energy and independence and value and not helplessness or hopelessness at all. And if we can do anything to encourage that joy, that purpose, that value in what them living provides, not just to themselves, but to the people they love. I mean, we're doing a really good thing here. And we're just part of the universe. We're one part of the universe. But if we can help in any way, for me, there's no better purpose than that. So well said. I thank you. And where can we learn more? Where can we go to purchase Trelloware and read more about your story? Yeah. So I think the easiest thing to do is if anybody is interested in learning more, and we encourage you to please learn more, um, is to go to Trelloware.com. We also because we understand that everybody's time is so valuable today. We wanted to extend a special offer to Nicole's audience 
And what we did is we established an exclusive code for your listeners. And if anybody is interested in purchasing a Trelloware pendant, we encourage you to please do so and use the code WILLGATHER50 at checkout, which will save you $50 off of your purchase, but also give you your first two months of monitoring service free. And we do that because we want you to see the whole experience and feel good that you made the right decision. And if by any chance you have it, of course, everything is 100% returnable free of charge, but we do want you to, to feel good about your purchase. That is so kind. Thank you for that offer. I will be sure to share that with my network, with the audience. It's been such a pleasure. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, oh my gosh, an hour's gone by. And I even have like so much I want to chat about. So this has been wonderful. And I appreciate you and your vision to just elevate this whole space. It's just incredible. So thank you so much. Thank you again for having me. And please, any questions, comments, you know, we're always here to help. Really appreciate your support and wish you all the best. And and thank you again. Thank you for listening today. If you enjoyed our episode, please subscribe and give us five stars. (laughs) In all honesty, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening to our episode.